Hello, I'm Nura Subha, Engineering Manager for the GoTools team at Google. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to build applications with Go in minutes. We'll set up a Go development environment in Project IDX and create your first server applications. Project IDX is a browser-based development environment that includes AI assistance, making it simple to build and deploy full-stack applications. Let's walk through setting up a Go development environment in IDX and creating a Hello World server. There are a few different ways to create workspaces in IDX. You can import a GitHub repository, create a new blank workspace from scratch, or use a pre-configured template. We are going to show you how to start from scratch first, and then we will look at templates. Open idx.google.com in your browser. Click on See All Templates, and then choose the miscellaneous category. Click Blank Workspace. This will create a fresh project. We will name the workspace as Hello World Go and click Create. On Workspace Load, you will see two lines, README and dev.next. The dev.next file configures your development environment. The first line packages dot 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 defines configuration function. Packages gives us access to the next package repository. Let's add Go support by updating it with two key components, the Go package and the Go extension. You will notice there are a number of packages in the packages list that are commented out. Let's uncomment Go and delete the others. Under extensions, we will add golang.go. After making these changes, you will notice that a new button appears at the bottom of the window, prompting us to rebuild environment. On every environment configuration change, we will need to rebuild environment in order for the changes to take effect. Click Rebuild Environment, and IDX will rebuild an environment with Go support. Now, we are ready to create our first Go application. We'll start by initializing a new Go module. We can do this in two ways, using the command palette or via the terminal. Open the command palette by navigating to View, Command Palette, and then type go initialize go.mod. If you prefer to use the terminal, you can open a new terminal and type go mod in it. With that done, we are ready to create some Go code. In the root directory of our project, let's create a new file and call it main.go. Let's start by adding package main. This tells Go we want to create an executable program rather than a library. Now we will import the packages we need. Formed for basic input output, log for logging server activity, HTTP to create our web server, and OS to handle environment variables. In our main function, we will first log that server is starting up. Then we use http.handlefunk to tell our server that any incoming web requests should be handled by our handler function. For the server configuration, we need a port number. We will try to get it from environment variable called port using os.getm. If that's not set, we will default to port 3000, which matches common cloud deployment practices. Now for actually starting the server, HTTP.listen and serve starts listening for web request on our chosen port. We use null because we are using the default HTTP settings. If there is an error starting the server, we will log it and exit. Finally, we define our handler function that processes web request. It takes two parameters, a response writer for sending data back to the browser and a request containing the incoming request details. For now, we will just write a simple HTML document containing hello world. That should be good for main.go. But to see our server in action, we need to set up a preview in IDX. IDX preview lets us test our server without leaving the development environment. This makes it easy to iterate quickly as we build our application. Let's update our dev.next file one more time to add the preview configuration. In our web preview configuration, we set the command that IDX should run. In this case, 
we wanted to execute go run main.go to start our server. We specify the manager as web since we are running a web server. Under the environment section, we will set up any environment variables our server needs. Remember that port variable we looked for in our Go code? Here's where we will tell IDX to provide it. We set port, which lets IDX handle port allocation automatically. After we save these changes, IDX will rebuild the environment, and we will be able to see our Go server running right in the preview window. After IDX rebuilds the environment, the preview should open automatically. If it doesn't, we can open the preview from the command palette by selecting Project IDX Show Web Preview. Now we can see our Hello World message in the preview window. Great! This gives us a working Go development environment in IDX. Now that we understand the basics, let's look at how templates can speed up development. Click on the Project IDX tab and then Home to navigate back to the IDX homepage. From here, we can click See All Templates. Clicking on Backend, we can see that there is an existing Gemini API Go Backend option we can use. Or by clicking on Gemini API, we can then choose Go Web App to initialize a new template. And there you have it. You have now created a complete Go development environment, built a working web server, and learned how to use the IDX preview feature. From here, we can explore templates to build more complex applications with Gemini. All we need is a Gemini API key, and we are ready to turn our ideas into real applications that scale. Thank you.